Final story, um, Avatar the sequel has opened, uh, I think is just opening uh, this week. Uh, it's 13 years since the first Avatar. Uh, I think when I saw Avatar, I did see Avatar. I was convinced to go see it like in, 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 um, in IMAX because of the special effects and how beautiful it was and everything. And yeah, it was pretty impressive visually. Uh, but philosophically, one of the most evil movies ever made. Um, anti-man, anti-civilization, anti-human, anti-reason, anti-all our values, anti-corporation, anti-business, anti-capitalism, but much more importantly, anti-human, anti-man, anti-reason. Um, uh, so by every level, uh, uh, Avatar, the first one, was, was truly, I think, one of the most evil movies ever. I think the sequel is going to be just as bad, and the sequel is a beginning of a series. So unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, suffer through a number of avatars. I will not go and see Avatar the sequel. I suffered once, will not suffer again. Um, uh, I do not hate James Cameron. Indeed, uh, some of my favorite movies from the 80s were James Cameron movies. I think, he, uh, I think some of his movies are, are truly amazing movies. Um, from the first uh, Terminator to The Abyss, uh, to the second Terminator, to Aliens, the second Alien movie. I think those four movies are some of the best movies made in the 1980s. I think he was brilliant in those movies. They're, they're very philosophical, they're very pro-reason, they're very benevolent. Um, you know, uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, the ending of... Uh, of uh, um, the one underwater, which I just mentioned, but now has slipped my mind, is problematic, but almost every one of those movies, uh, I mean, even True Lies is a fun movie, so I, I'm not a, but once, once you start with, uh, with Titanic and Avatar, two of the worst movies ever made, at least, uh, at least uh, uh, philosophically, ideologically. Uh, yes, thank you, The Abyss. The Abyss, the ending of The Abyss is stupid, but other than the ending of The Abyss, The Abyss is a, is a brilliant, brilliant movie. And the theme is epistemological, as is, I think, ultimately, the theme of aliens is uh, kind of the role of reason and, and the importance of reason, the importance of being rational. So both movies are, are, are brilliant. So if you haven't watched The Abyss uh, and you haven't watched, and somebody should pay me to do a review of The Abyss and Aliens because um, I, think, I, I think my review would be interesting. I, I, I don't think, uh, I think the philosophy in both those movies is brilliant. Uh, he's bad politically. He's, he's anti-corporation even back then. But philosophically, epistemologically, he truly is, he truly was brilliant in the 80s. And then he became a complete cynic. His Marxism came to dominate. That's, that's in Titanic. And then his, ultimately, uh, his, he, became, he became a hater of mankind, which you see in Avatar. Uh, but, uh, but yes, uh, I think I have a unique perspective on the abyss and on, um, and on aliens that most people don't see. And, um, even Terminator, I think, are excellent movies. I mean, I think the theme of Terminator 2 is the power of free will. So, the, and, and that, is a, that, is, that is much more important philosophically than capitalism versus socialism, uh, that issue. So I, I'm willing to tolerate bad politics if you, uh, you know, in art, if the, the fundamental theme of the art is is, is pro-free will, and I think it certainly is in the second uh, number, I mean, in a number of places, that's another one somebody could uh, have me review. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening, you get value from watching, Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to yourownbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one of those uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Your Own Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content and of course subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.